Hi, I'm Fong. Um, I'm over here wedging my clay, getting ready to make these miniature teapots that I do for a living. And um, I've always found it interesting that uh, a lot of um, <clears throat> there are a lot of pe people wanting to find out how these pieces are evolved. And now that I have this opportunity, uh, one of the most important process for me is right here on the wedging table. Uh, I find that if I don't get my clay uh, kneaded and, and wedged properly, um, it doesn't work as well for me because the, the clay, these lumps are so small and it's harder for me to uh, pull the clay up. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a couple of these uh, small pieces and on the wheel uh, after I get these pieces wedged up. And uh, the throwing process itself is actually pretty pretty quick so and I'll try to explain as I'm working with these pieces how they're you know how they're evolved I do a lot of these pounding uh, because I find that it really helps the uh, the process for me getting the clay all nicely washed up and, and mixed up What I usually do is I cut them up into just small chunks. I don't weigh them. I just, uh, from experience, know roughly how large they are and how large it is to, you know, it needs that I need to make uh, uh, my pots. Okay, I'm gonna go to the wheel. Let's see. Here. Okay, um, I'm on the wheel here, and um, what I'm going to try to do is make a couple of forms just um, to show, you know, uh, how some of these pieces are, are, are evolved. And um, for the most part, the wheel is pretty quick. Uh, I don't like to waste time on the wheel if I can help it. And so um, I like to throw these things, you know, relatively fast, uh, you know, when I do. I guess sometimes the the centering part of this thing takes a lot longer than you know takes the, probably the most time. I'll cone it just to get it up you know get the uh, the clay nicely mixed up. Like I said, the centering takes, you know, takes the most time. Uh, once this is done, then I start opening the clay up by taking my thumb and just poking there in the middle and then just spreading the clay out. And once that's completed, then I just close it in, back in. And this, this particular piece is closed in and it's sealed so that I can take advantage of the air that's trapped in there to create my form. And I, and I, and I do it with, with a little rib here. And once it's roughly shaped up, then I have this tool and I just give it that nice swirl if I don't like that swirl, I'll go back and try it again. And then it's cut off with a cutting wire. And a lot of times, in order for me to pick these pieces up, all I, all I need to do is I'll have my heat gun here. It's actually a paint stripper, so you've got to be real careful by, about using it. Just to dry the surface enough so that I can pick it up without distorting that real delicate edge down here. So. I found this to be really, really beneficial. Um, you can use a hair dryer if you like, but uh, I, I like just using a heat gun because it dries it up 
rather quickly, but the, like I said, this thing is it's about 1100 degrees right here, so you gotta be real careful.